from the SiliconANGLE Media office in Boston, Massachusetts. It's the Cube. Now here's your host, Dave Vellante. Hi everybody, Dave Vellante here, coming at you from our East Coast studios in Marlboro, Massachusetts, just outside of Boston. What I wanted to do is give you a little recap of 2017 and what's happening, and give you an update on SiliconANGLE Media. So, as many of you know, SiliconANGLE Media Inc. Uh, comprises three brands: the Cube, which most of you know is, uh, we call it the, sometimes the ESPN of tech. It's our, our live and on-demand video broadcasting element. Then of course we have the research arm, which is Wikibon and Wikibon.com, and then Silicon Angle is our news site. And so I wanted to just, as I say, recap what went down in, in 2017, some of the things that you may not know about. Last February, February 1st actually, we opened a new studio in Palo Alto, California. It's at 989 Commercial Street, you should check it out. It's sort of near the Mountain View line, but it's in Palo Alto, it's a great location. We have a large studio there, and throughout the year, in 2017, we held uh, events, uh, we had uh, uh, launches, but most importantly, John Furrier, uh, my business partner, is really running editorial content programs out of that studio. So every Thursday, uh, Furrier has you know, high-level key guests come in, CEOs, VCs, uh, end customers, and they just riff on what's going on in the industry and, and what's happening. It's been a, an, an absolutely awesome resource for us and really encourage you guys to go check it out. Um, we did 135 show days last year. The Cube is run by our general manager, Jeff Frick, and, and 135 show days, meaning we broadcast live at 135 days at events last year, which is just incredible. Um, it was our first year we ever did anything uh, in China, and uh, we did the Alibaba conference, the cloud show there, that was very exciting. We did a number of shows in Europe, and of course, all the big shows in the United States as well. We launched three websites last year. Uh, the Thecube.net uh, is the latest one. You know, a lot of times we talk about data-driven media. If you go to Thecube.net and check it out, you'll see something called the Cube Alumni Database, and the Alumni Database contains virtually everybody who's ever been on theCUBE. So you can search CIOs, CEOs, uh, developers, uh, bloggers, analysts, all the folks that have been on theCUBE you can see and they've got a profile page on each one of those. So we're collecting all that data. Um, SiliconAngle.com, we launched a new website. SiliconAngle's run by Rob Hof, who's our editor in chief. Rob was the Silicon Valley bureau chief for Business Week for the better part of a decade. So really proud to have Rob on, he's been on for the last couple of years and just doing a great job with that site. And then Wikibon.com is uh, run by Peter Burris. He's our chief research officer. Uh, he's been with us now for you know the better part of two years and he's got that team cranking on all kinds of research in cloud and AI and, and data orientation, the edge and infrastructure for uh, emerging applications like AI. One of the areas we're most excited about uh, that we launched in 2017 was a new capability called Clipper. So we have this tool called Video Clipper. As you know, you know John Furrier and I, when we met, we had this vision for data-driven media and, and innovation. And we launched this, this, this tool we call Video Clipper that was developed by Kent Libby and his team, one of our newer executives that we brought in last year on the product side. What Video Clipper does is we transcribe every video now that we do. We'll transcribe this video. And then we synchronize the transcript with the video and we're able to then search video, highlight uh, text, a paragraph, let's say, push a button and boom, we've got a clip. And that clip is ready to be shared you know, throughout various social media platforms like Twitter and LinkedIn and Facebook and the like. And so very, very excited about, about that tool. You're going to be hearing more about that. We don't sell it as a separate tool. We integrate it as part of our, <coughs> our offerings and got some new offerings that we're bringing to customers in, uh, in 2018. One of the other really exciting things in, in 2017, we brought on a new chief revenue officer. His name is Greg Tirio, and I'm going to introduce you to him today. Greg Tirio is with me here in studio. And Greg, it's great to see you. Thanks for spending some time with us. Thank you, Dave. Thanks for the opportunity. I've never been more excited. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I live in Concord, Massachusetts, right around the studio here. And I came from the IT industry. I've been there for a long time. I used to be at a small systems integrator, kind of the size of SiliconANGLE Media. 
building client server computing, got certified in Novell, and then I jumped into sales. I worked most recently at Forrester Research and was there for almost 18 years, two decades, building the sales capabilities, always wrapped around the customers, but I am thrilled to be here today. So Novell, so when our network goes down, can you help us help us fix that? Or what's Absolutely. the story? That was about uh, 20 years ago, but you know the history with Novell. So yeah, right. another Utah company that just didn't yeah. somehow didn't make it. But, right. um, but for a while there, they were a little monopoly. So you've been in the business now for a couple of decades. Yeah. Maybe, you know, think about what's happened over the last sure. 20 years. What kind of changes have you seen? Share with the, us your perspectives. I've never seen so much disruption from client server to social computing to AI. Now it's digital disruption in everything. And you hear about this all the time in the news that companies are becoming software companies. Look around the corner. GE is now GE Digital and they're trying to reinvent themselves. Very, very exciting times. AI, machine learning, autonomous computing. And then right around the corner, there's blockchain. I mean, that's the big, the big buzz these days. Also, there's the autonomous vehicles. And I'll give you a quick story. About two years ago, my son was born, and I was fortunate enough to have a breakfast with the CTO of Tesla. And I asked him, hey, he was born. What's going to happen in 16 years? And, and uh, JB said to me quite, quite candidly, he said, if your son is driving a car that's not autonomous, it won't be safe, and he won't need a license. So things are happening at an epic speed. I don't know if these predictions will be true, but it is Tesla. Won't need a license. That's, you know, it's funny. I mean, <laughs> I don't know how you feel about it, but when I turned 16, it was like one of the most exciting days yeah. of a young person's life. You know, you wonder what the sort of social implication of that is. If you don't need a license, and I don't know, maybe they could start driving at, 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 at 14 or 13 or, you know, whatever. But uh, you know what I'm saying? This, yeah. That was a really exciting time. We couldn't wait to get our permits. And, you know, <laughs> Dad, can I drive you to the dump? Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like... Yeah. Self-driving cars and self-driving refrigerators. I mean, it's moving fast and at an epic speed right now. Well, everything, and it, again, you take that business, it's all about the data. Mm -hmm. um, and we, you know, I, say, I said in my intro, we always talk about you know, data-driven media. We got so much data. Uh, you talk about digital transformation. You know, our philosophy is, is digital means data. Right. And you, you talked about GE. You're seeing all these companies now getting disrupted because you know, digital allows people to move so fast. It allows companies like Apple to get into financial services, and you're seeing Amazon become a content company, and it's really all around the data, isn't it? Absolutely. So, I wonder if you could share with our audience, you know, SiliconANGLE Media, sure. small company, you came from, you know, a much larger firm, big sure. brand, you know, Forrester, your former company. What attracted you to SiliconANGLE Media? I think it was the fact I jumped on a plane and went out to Palo Alto and met with your general managers. I think the innovation and the speed the speed around, it's in your DNA. And, and then you took social computing, combined it with you know, really computing power. And then I saw the, the, the uh, video clipper tool. It's the fastest uh, application I've ever seen to clip video. And that innovation, the speed, really attracted me to the, the company, to, to build really powerful content. Yeah, it's been, it's been quite, a, quite a ride since I met John Furrier in, uh, in 2010. And you know, John, at the time, said, Dave, whatever we do, we have to innovate. We have to continue to invest in R&D. And you know, those R&D experiments, they don't always pay off, but you know, when, when one hits like the, the Clipper tool, you know, it could be a home run. So we're very excited about that. Share with us your philosophy. What can we expect from Greg Terrier? Sure, I appreciate that. Well, I'm happy to be here. I, I actually blogged on LinkedIn over the weekend about my transition here. And I think it starts off with my family. My, my son and my wife, they helped me, they grounded me. But my philosophy on business is to really be customer focused, to hire the right people, train and coach, and build a different mindset, which I call the growth mindset. The, the, the sales rep of the future is being disrupted right now, just like every other function. And that is absolutely pivotal. I think the buyers changed, Dave, faster in two years than, than the past 100 years. The buyer is in control. You have to build systems, processes, and technologies wrapped around how do you help the customer be successful to drive growth. And then that's the biggest, biggest shift going on right now. I mean, sales right now, again, is being disrupted. So social, social selling, and things like that. I want to bring that kind of discipline and processes to Silicon Angle Media. Well, what about social selling? You know, a lot of people mm -hmm. will, when, when social media really started to come into, the, into play, a lot of people would say, well, we sell to IT people, and, and IT people, they don't, they don't have time to go on Twitter. They don't do Facebook. They don't. Mm. What's, your, what's your perspective? Has that changed, and you know, what about that? It's changed faster than I could have ever believed. And 
buyers buy differently, but they also need to see a different presence. And social, that's Twitter, that's LinkedIn, and that's also, you have to be on the phone, you have to be in front of customers, but it absolutely is pivotal that the new, let's call it a digital rep, needs to understand the tools to listen, listen to the customer first and foremost. And it's, it's a new channel, but it's a, it's a channel here for a long time. Again, it's disrupting sales at an epic pace. So what are your priorities, you know, looking out, let's say, near term, mid term, long term? To wrap my hand around the customer base you have, to innovate with them, with the team we build, and also to build a collaborative culture. I'm really into culture and the, the ability to kind of gamify the culture, grow the business, accelerate the business, and also uh, develop the, the, the team that we build. I mean, the aspirations to where do they want to be in a couple of years will help build the business. And that's, and that's a global business as well. Well, so, of course, a lot of the action in, in the tech business is out in Silicon Valley. Mm -hmm. you, you and I are based here in the East Coast. Yeah. What can we expect in terms of your, your presence in Silicon Valley? I'll be on a plane a lot, and I don't mind that at all. I mean, it's a flat country right now, so I'll be on a plane, but also the heat is in Boston, New York, Chicago, but the valley's where it's at, so I'm going to be jumping on a plane in two weeks to meet with the team. I can't wait. Well, we're excited, Greg, to, to have an exec of your caliber join our team. Thank you. And congratulations. Appreciate and it. Uh, look forward to uh, many, many years of productive growth and adding value uh, for our clients with you. Likewise, thank you. All right, Thanks you're welcome. Good. All right, thanks for watching everybody. This is Dave Vellante with Greg Terrio. We'll see you next time.